ho, ho, ho. Hello, my jolly friends. It's Santa Claus here, and I'm thrilled to be joining you on the Howl Hub podcast. I must say, it's not every day I swap my sleigh for a studio. Today, we have a cracker of a tale to share with you, and it's as rich and warm as the cookies left out for me on Christmas Eve. We're about to delve into dragon sparks and yule-time barks, a story that starts in a place that's neither here nor there, a mystical realm where stories are more than just tales. They are alive. We meet Jack, initially a human who uncovers his truth as a canoid, and Sam, a formless being who chooses the magnificent form of a dragon. Now, dear listeners, brace yourselves for a tale of transformation, adventure, and the spirit of Christmas that ties us all together. This story, penned by the imaginative Arthur Chewbone, promises to whisk you away to a world where the lines between human and magical blur into something wonderfully extraordinary. So, get cosy, let your imaginations roam free, and join me as we explore the twists, turns, and triumphs of Jack and Sam. Dragon Sparks and Yule Time Barks is more than a story, it's a journey and I'm delighted to guide you through the first steps. Are you ready? Then let's begin. Backstory Jack and Sam's Odyssey by Arthur Chubone unfolds in a mystical void where tales are birthed and characters shaped. This chapter introduces Jack, the protagonist, and Sam, the antagonist. Initially, Jack perceives himself as a human with short brown hair, warm chocolate eyes, tall and lean stature, hinting at a life of hardship. However, a revelation through the quill of ether ink transforms him into an anthropomorphic canine, or canoid, named Jack Tail Weaver. His new form includes semi-erect dog ears, bronze-colored eyes, a square snout, subtly bulging muscles, hand-like paws with paw beans, a slightly protruding belly, dog-like legs, and a medium-thick tail. His transformation is dramatic and unsettling for him, involving a change from his previous human-like appearance to a fully canine form, complete with fur, a snout, pawed hands, and a tail. Sam, introduced initially as a formless entity, chooses to be a dragon. His transformation is equally dramatic. He evolves from a blob of dough into a magnificent dragon with a pair of leathery wings, strong muscular limbs ending in clawed feet, a sleek snout adorned with sharp horns, fiery eyes, metallic sheen skin, and a powerful, spiked tail. He also has a distinct male form with a prominent bulge and a cloaca, emphasizing his masculinity and complex dragon anatomy. The chapter sets up the dynamic between Jack and Sam, exploring their contrasting roles, personalities, and the challenges they face in the Void. The Void itself is a canvas for their development, filled with whispers of untold stories and side characters. The chapter also introduces secondary characters like Claude, a comedic bull with a penchant for interjecting moves, and Petey, the avatar of the plot, who guides the narrative with dramatic flair. The narrator's voice shapes the events, and there's a discussion on plot points, character development, and the themes of adventure, exploration, and moral conflict. The chapter ends with the introduction of Jerry, the narrator's avatar, designed to be a guide, confidant, and friend to the protagonist. Jerry is envisioned as a wise, witty, and light-hearted Welsh corgi canoid, offering both guidance and comic relief. The chapter concludes with Jerry casting a spell, symbolizing the character's entrapment within the story's narrative and setting the stage for their epic journey in the mystical land of Potera. Prologue, The Dowie Dreamer In the heart of the North Pole, amidst the fragrant scent of pine needles and gingerbread, the bustling workshop of Santa Claus thrived. Here, nestled in this haven of Christmas joy, was a peculiar inhabitant vastly different from the industrious elves crafting toys at lightning speed. Ezekiel Gingersnap, towering and proud, his dowie body a testament to years of dedicated baking, stood as more than just a chef, he was a culinary artist. His creations, from intricate gingerbread houses to delicate reindeer-shaped cookies, were masterpieces of sugar and spice. Yet, despite his undeniable skills, a shadow of resentment lurked within Ezekiel's heart. He craved not just praise for his treats, but respect and recognition, feelings that had fermented into a bitter brew within his dowie depths. 
Overlooked and feeling invisible, Ezekiel longed for something more, something beyond his sugar-coated domain. On a snowy December evening, as the workshop buzzed with Christmas Eve preparations, Ezekiel, standing alone, concocted a daring plan. His target? The starlight sparkle, the radiant star atop the grand Christmas tree, powers Santa's sleigh and symbolizes the Christmas spirit. Under the cloak of darkness, Ezekiel set his plan into motion. With the forbidden Yule Yanker, he snatched the starlight sparkle, setting the workshop into a frenzy of chaos and uncertainty. As Santa and the head elf confronted the grim reality of the missing ornament, the decision was made to use the stalking crystal ball in a desperate attempt to recover the lost treasure. The next morning, as the sun rose, a new day brought the thrill of adventure for Ezekiel. Today's the day, he whispered in the empty bakery, mischief sparkling in his molasses brown eyes. With the priceless starlight sparkle now in his possession, he was determined to be the star of the show, no longer the forgotten chef, but the center of attention. Yet, little did Ezekiel know that his actions would set in motion a series of events far beyond his wildest imaginings. His desire for recognition would intertwine with the mysterious machinations of the Frost Weaver, a forgotten soul lurking in the shadows of the North Pole, aiming to turn the land into a realm of eternal winter. And so, under the Arctic shimmering sky, a dowry revolution began, marking the start of an adventure filled with magic, challenges, and the eternal spirit of Christmas. This was the beginning of Dragon Sparks and Yule Time Barks, a tale where the greatest adventures begin not with a roar, but with a whisper in the winter wind and a dowie dreamer's yearning heart. In the heart of the North Pole, the workshop and its surrounding territory were abuzz with the hustle and bustle of last-minute Christmas preparations. Santa, his head elf, and a team of skilled artisans toiled away, ensuring that the presents were perfect and the sleigh was ready to take off. But amidst the cheerful atmosphere, a shadow loomed, a sinister force lurking in the corners of the workshop, unseen yet ever-present. And it was from this sinister entity that a Dowie dreamer would find his greatest challenge. Ezekiel Gingersnap was the star baker at the workshop, his delectable desserts the highlight of every celebration. But, despite his undeniable skill, the big-boned chef was plagued by feelings of resentment and jealousy. He yearned for more than just the adoration of his colleagues. He craved recognition and respect, something that seemed out of his reach. Ezekiel was a Dowie dreamer, his desire to stand out and be seen as more than just a chef festering within his Dowie depths. One winter's evening, under the cloak of darkness, Ezekiel set his plan in motion, snatching the coveted starlight sparkle. The prized ornament, shining like a beacon, represented the Christmas spirit, and its absence plunged the workshop into chaos. Santa and the head elf, desperate to retrieve the lost treasure, utilized the stalking crystal ball, a mystical device capable of revealing the location of missing items. This action led them straight to Ezekiel, exposing the big-boned baker as the culprit. Faced with his crimes, Ezekiel fled the workshop, determined to be the star of his own story, no longer a mere supporting character in someone else's narrative. Yet, little did he know that his actions would set in motion a sequence of events that would change the fate of the entire North Pole. His selfish desires would intertwine with the mysterious machinations of a dark force lurking in the shadows, a mysterious entity with sinister plans for the Christmas-loving people of the North Pole. Ezekiel's journey, from the humble pastries of the workshop to the mysterious secrets of the Arctic, was about to begin. A Dowie dreamer, his quest was now a matter of destiny. The starlight sparkle was about to find a new home, a new star to shine its light upon. This was the beginning of an adventure filled with magic, mystery, and a Christmas miracle. Chapter 1, An Unexpected Turn to Christmas Land a captivating tapestry of vibrant reds, greens, and golds unfolded before Jack and Sam as they stepped into Christmas land. This fantastical realm, a stark contrast to the rugged landscapes and mystical biomes of Potera, pulsated with the joyful sounds of Christmas carols and the intoxicating scents of cinnamon and pine. Gingerbread houses adorned with twinkling lights lined the snow-covered streets, and the aroma of mulled cider warmed the crisp air. Jack, his eyes wide with wonder, gazed around in astonishment. Sam, he exclaimed, his voice echoing with confusion and a hint of awe, where are we? This isn't Potera. Sam, Rusty Claws the Red Terror, 
inhaled deeply, savoring the sweet scents of gingerbread and spiced cider. Not quite, my friend, he observed, his dragon eyes gleaming with curiosity. It appears we've landed in a Christmas wonderland. At that moment, Jerry, the ever-dapper Welsh corgi canoid, materialized before them. Sporting a crisp suit, complete with a festive bow tie, fedora, and monocle, Jerry exuded a blend of apology and excitement. Welcome to Christmas land, gentlemen, he declared, his voice tinged with amusement. I understand this wasn't your intended destination, but our story has taken a delightful detour. A detour? Jack asked, his ears perking up. Yes, Jerry continued, the author had to shift focus to a Christmas story, putting Dragonfire and Canine Dreams on hold. You're now part of Dragon Sparks and Yule Time Barks. Sam's dragon eyes showed a hint of disappointment. So, our journey in Potera is paused for now, Jerry interjected gently. But consider this an exciting side adventure. Christmas land is filled with its magic and challenges. And who knows, this detour might connect back to your original story in ways we can't yet imagine. Jack's tail wagged, his spirits lifted by the prospect of a new adventure. A Christmas adventure? Sounds intriguing. What's our role here? Ah, that's where Santa comes in, Jerry said with a twinkle in his eye. He'll fill you in on everything. The spirit of Christmas is strong here, and I have a feeling you both will play crucial roles. Sam stretched his wings, a spark of adventure igniting in his eyes. Whether in Potera or Christmas land, an adventure is an adventure. I'm game. Jerry beamed at their readiness. Wonderful. Your unique abilities will undoubtedly be invaluable here. Jack, your sharp instincts, and Sam, your dragon strength, will surely come in handy. Resolved and ready for the new challenge, Jack and Sam exchanged determined glances. Lead the way to Santa, Jerry. We're ready to find out what this Christmas adventure has in store for us, Jack declared. Together, the trio ventured deeper into the heart of Christmas land. As they journeyed towards their meeting with Santa Claus, Dragon Sparks and Yule Time Barks was set to unfold as a tale rich with holiday magic, unexpected challenges, and the potential for heartwarming discoveries. Their path might have veered from Potera, but their adventure in Christmas Land promised to be a festive and enchanting experience. Jack's eyes twinkled with anticipation as he and Sam followed Jerry, the Welsh Corgi Canoid, through the enchanted forest. The trees were adorned with colorful lights, and the crisp air carried the faint scent of cinnamon and pine. This is incredible, Sam breathed, his wings fluttering with excitement. I know, Jack agreed, his ears perking up at the sound of bells jingling. Scent is close, Jerry announced, his eyes twinkling with excitement. Jack, his brindle-colored canoid form adorned in a red jacket, white shirt, and black pants followed Jerry, the Welsh corgi canoid, through an enchanted forest aglow with Christmas cheer. The trees sparkled with colorful lights, while the air carried the crisp scents of cinnamon and pine. This is incredible, he remarked, his ears perking up at the sound of distant bells. Sam, a red-scaled dragon clad in a blue and green striped sweater, glided gracefully beside them, his usual fiery look replaced by festive attire. Yeah, this is different from my usual look, he admitted, inspecting his sweater. It suits you, though, Jack complimented, admiring Sam's new appearance, reflecting on how they all had seamlessly adapted to the Christmas spirit. Jerry, in his classic Christmas attire, complete with a festive hat and a bag of gifts, led the way with a twinkle in his eyes. We're close to Santa's workshop, he announced. He'll fill you in on what's up. As they navigated the frost-kissed wonderland, voices hushed between breaths so no one could overhear, yet even without words spoken aloud, everyone knew where they stood together. Earlier, as Sam Rusty Claws the Red Terror and Jack Tail Weaver had soared over the North Pole Workshop Valley, they marveled at the bustling activity below. The valley rang with the symphony of yuletide joy, bells jingling, toy soldiers marching, and the air rich with the scent of peppermint. Their all was short-lived, however, as they spotted the abominable snowplow rapidly approaching, burdened with a heavy load of toys and treats. The creature slipped in a twist of fate, sending its cargo tumbling through the air. 
Cinders and smoke, we've got to save those gifts. Sam bellowed, diving after the falling packages. Jack, determined and agile, readied himself to assist in the mid-air rescue. Their efforts were successful, but the discovery of a trail of ice shards and powdered sugar leading to Ezekiel's gingerbread bakery hinted at a deeper plot. The bakery, in disarray and reeking of singed gingerbread, suggested Ezekiel's involvement in something devious. With a sense of urgency, the abominable snowplow set off to alert Santa Claus, leaving Sam and Jack to ponder the implications of their findings. As Jack, Sam, and Jerry continued their enchanting journey through Christmas land, Jack's thoughts momentarily drifted to their absent companion. Hey, Jerry, Jack inquired with a curious tilt of his head, what about Claude? Where is he during all of this? Jerry adjusted his monocle thoughtfully before responding. Ah, Claude. You see, while we are here in Christmas land, Claude's path has taken a different turn. He has been sent to Potera, but not in the way you might expect. Sam's dragon ears perked up in interest. What do you mean, Jerry? Jerry's eyes twinkled with a hint of mischief. The author has arranged for Claude to arrive in Potera in the future, specifically time to coincide with your departure from Christmas land. It's a bit of narrative synchronicity. Claude will get there at the same time you and Sam leave Christmas land for Potera. Jack's tail wagged slightly, amused and intrigued by the clever twist. So, Claude's going to be in Potera just as we're leaving Christmas land? That's quite a timing. Yes, indeed, Jerry affirmed with a nod. It's all part of the grand story. Claude's arrival in Potera will be an event in itself, knowing his penchant for making an entrance. And his journey there will add another layer of adventure and surprise to the overall narrative. Sam chuckled, his deep dragon voice resonating through the crisp air. I can only imagine the chaos Claude will bring to Potera. It's never a dull moment with him around. Jack grinned, his excitement for their current adventure growing. Well, for now, let's focus on Christmas land and the wonders it holds for us. I'm sure we'll have plenty of stories to share with Claude once we all reunite in Potera. With their path illuminated by festive lights and the air filled with the magic of the holiday season, the trio continued their journey toward Santa Claus, ready to embrace the unique adventure that awaited them in the wondrous realm of Christmas land. As the three travelers, Jerry, the Welsh Corgi Canoid, Jack, a tall and handsome Canoid, and Sam, a red-scaled dragon, journeyed through the winter wonderland, the mysterious entity, known as Ezekiel, lurked within the shadows. Ezekiel's mission, shrouded in the secrecy of his icy lair, was twofold, to create chaos and to spread the frost. His cunning plan was to use the powers of the starlight sparkle, stolen from its perch atop the grand Christmas tree, to freeze the entire land and claim it for his own. In the distance, the faint echo of a jolly laugh rang through the air. Ho, ho, ho. It was the unmistakable voice of Santa Claus. The travelers hastened their pace, eager to meet the man in red and discover the secret that would bring light to the North Pole. Come on, guys, Jack urged, his voice filled with determination. Ho, oh, we're almost there, Sam replied, his powerful wings carrying him effortlessly through the snow-filled sky. You two are just in time, Jerry said, his voice filled with excitement. The group arrived at a large, decorated house with a chimney and a brightly lit porch. Here we are, Jerry said, his voice filled with excitement. Santa's workshop, Sam observed, his dragon eyes twinkling with awe. And the home of the big guy himself, Jack added, his voice filled with anticipation. Ho, 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 came the jolly laugh from within. Jerry led the way up the steps, his voice filled with cheer. Let's go see what's in store for us, shall we? As they entered the workshop, the sights, sounds, and smells were overwhelming. The workshop was a chaotic yet joyful place, filled with elves, toys, and a myriad of holiday decorations. Santa, the man in red himself, sat at a desk surrounded by a pile of presents. Welcome, my friends. Santa boomed, his voice filled with cheer. Jack's ears perked up, his excitement evident. Hello, Santa. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sam's wings fluttered as he landed beside Jack. 
Indeed, a great pleasure. We're here to help in any way we can. Jerry, his demeanor one of excitement and mystery, approached Santa. So, what's the situation here, Santa, he asked, his voice filled with curiosity. Santa's smile faltered, a hint of worry appearing on his face. I'm afraid we have a bit of a situation, Santa said, his voice filled with concern. Jack's tail wagged, his senses alert. What kind of situation? The worst kind, Santa replied, his voice heavy with worry. The starlight sparkle, our most important ornament, is missing. I'm afraid we're in danger of a frozen Christmas, Santa lamented, his voice filled with worry. Sam's eyes widened, his dragon breath forming a small puff of smoke. A frozen Christmas? That sounds terrible. Sam exclaimed, his voice filled with concern. That's right, Santa said, his voice filled with dismay. And you think Ezekiel has something to do with it? Jerry asked, his voice filled with concern. Ho, oh, the evidence suggests as much, Santa said, his voice filled with disappointment. Jack's ears twitched, his detective instincts kicking in. We found Ezekiel's burnt bakery and the starlight sparkle is missing. That's enough to start an investigation. I'm sure Ezekiel is involved somehow, Jerry mused, his voice filled with worry. We'll find the starlight sparkle, don't worry, Santa, Jack declared, his voice filled with determination. Ho, oh, you're the best detectives I know, Santa said, his voice filled with gratitude and hope. Well then, we better get started, Sam said, his voice filled with purpose. Let's begin the search for the starlight sparkle, shall we? Jerry declared, his voice filled with determination. And so, the search for the starlight sparkle began. Jack and Sam, accompanied by Jerry, set out to find the missing ornament, hoping to save Christmas land from the impending threat of a frozen Christmas. As the group departed Santa's workshop, a sinister presence watched from the shadows. Ezekiel, lurking in his icy lair, observed the activities with a sense of glee. Those fools have no idea what's coming, he whispered, his voice filled with malice. Ho, 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 Santa's laughter echoed through the snow-covered land. Ho, oh, we're almost there, Jack called out, his voice filled with excitement. Just a bit further, Jerry chimed in, his voice filled with cheer. Sam's dragon wings carried him effortlessly through the frigid air. It's just up ahead, Jerry announced, his voice filled with excitement. As the group approached the workshop, the scent of gingerbread and peppermint wafted through the air. MMM, that smells good, Jack said, his tail wagging. Ho. Oh, Ho, come in, come in. Santa greeted them, his voice filled with cheer. The trio entered the workshop, their senses overwhelmed by the sights, sounds, and sense of Christmas. Wow, this is amazing, Jack said, his voice filled with wonder. Ho, this is indeed a magical place, Sam agreed, his dragon eyes wide with amazement. Ho, welcome to my workshop, Santa said, his voice filled with warmth. This is incredible, Jerry said, his eyes twinkling with delight. Thank you for coming, Santa said, his voice filled with gratitude. Ho, oh, no problem, Santa, Jack said, his tail wagging. Ho, oh, happy to help, Sam added, his dragon voice booming. Now, let's get down to business, Santa said, his voice filled with a sense of purpose. Ho, oh, what's the situation, Santa? Jack asked, his ears perking up. The starlight sparkle, our most important ornament, is missing, Santa said, his voice filled with concern. The starlight sparkle. Ho, oh, how did this happen? Jack asked, his tail wagging furiously. Ho, oh, we don't know, Santa said, his voice filled with anguish. We'll find the starlight sparkle, don't worry, Sam declared, his dragon voice echoing through the workshop. Ho, oh, I hope so, Santa said, his voice filled with trepidation. Let's begin the search, Jerry urged, his voice filled with determination. Jack's tail wagged, his sense of adventure rising. We'll find the starlight sparkle, you have our word, Jack promised, his voice filled with conviction. Ho, oh, I have faith in you, Santa said, his voice filled with confidence. The trio, 
fueled by their determination and dedication, embarked on their quest to find the missing Starlight Sparkle. Chapter 2 The Trail of Tinsel and Twinkles as they ventured deeper into Christmas land, Jack, Sam, and Jerry were enveloped by the Yuletide cheer that radiated from every corner. The streets bustled with festive activity, elves humming carols while wrapping gifts, and reindeer playfully frolicking in the snow. The air was crisp and invigorating, filled with the mingling scents of roasted chestnuts and hot cocoa. Despite the enchanting surroundings, Jack couldn't shake off a feeling of displacement. I'm still wrapping my head around this, he muttered, his canine senses overwhelmed by the festive overload. Sam, embracing the change with fiery enthusiasm, flapped his wings excitedly. Look at the brighter side, Jack. We might discover something here that could help us in Potera. Plus, saving Christmas sounds rather heroic, doesn't it? Jerry nodded, his tail wagging in agreement. Indeed, and our first step is to find out what happened to the Starlight Sparkle. Without it, the magic that powers Santa's sleigh is at risk. We must start our investigation at the scene of the disappearance. Guided by Jerry, they arrived at a massive, ornately decorated Christmas tree in the town square, under which the Starlight Sparkle was last seen. The area was cordoned off, with concerned elves whispering amongst themselves. Jack sniffed around, trying to pick up any out-of-place scents. This might sound strange, but I think I smell gingerbread, and not the cookie kind. Sam examined the ground, his dragon eyes spotting unusual tracks leading away from the tree. These aren't ordinary elf footprints. They're too large and... Dowie? Jerry's ears perked up. Dowie, you say? That might be our first clue. Let's follow these tracks. They could lead us to the culprit or at least to someone who knows more. The trio followed the trail through a maze of festively decorated streets, eventually arriving at a quaint bakery on the outskirts of town. The sign above the door read Ezekiel's Enchanted Eats. Seems like we've found our first suspect, Sam murmured, a plume of smoke curling from his nostrils. Jerry cautiously approached the bakery, signaling for Jack and Sam to stay alert. As they entered, the warm aroma of baking gingerbread filled the air, and they were greeted by the sight of an unusually large gingerbread man, Ezekiel, meticulously decorating a batch of cookies. Ezekiel Gingersnap, I presume? Jerry inquired, his tone friendly yet firm. Ezekiel turned, his gumdrop buttons gleaming. Ah, visitors. Welcome to my humble bakery. How may I assist you on this fine Christmas Eve? We're here about the starlight sparkle, Jack stated bluntly, his canine instincts on high alert. Ezekiel's molasses eyes widened in surprise. The starlight sparkle? I assure you, I know nothing about its disappearance. The tension in the air was palpable as the trio exchanged glances, unsure if Ezekiel's words were to be trusted. The mystery of the missing ornament was just the beginning, and they knew that the key to saving Christmas lay in unraveling the truth behind this festive caper. As they conversed with Ezekiel, trying to gauge his sincerity, a sudden commotion outside caught their attention. Rushing out, they saw a flurry of elves pointing towards the sky, where a shimmering trail of stardust was visible, heading towards the northern horizon. The starlight sparkle. Jerry exclaimed. It's on the move. Without hesitation, Jack, Sam, and Jerry set off in pursuit, their festive adventure transforming into a high-stakes chase to reclaim the heart of Christmas magic. As they followed the trail of twinkles, Jack's senses tingled with anticipation. Sam, can you see anything up there? No, but we're gaining on it, Sam responded, his dragon wings carrying him effortlessly through the frosty air. Hold on, Jerry called out, there's a clearing up ahead. That's the perfect place for a landing, Jack observed, his tail wagging in agreement. Ho, oh, let's go get that starlight sparkle, Sam said, his dragon voice filled with determination. As they descended into the clearing, their eyes were met by a dazzling display of sparkling lights. Ho, oh, the starlight sparkle, Jerry proclaimed, his voice filled with relief. There it is, Sam confirmed, his dragon voice booming with excitement. We found it. Jack exclaimed, his canine senses tingling with joy. Ho, 
I think it's moving again, Jerry observed, his voice filled with concern. It's heading north, Sam announced, his dragon voice resonating with determination. Ho, oh, the Frost Weaver is trying to hide the starlight sparkle. Jerry deduced, his voice filled with alarm. Frost Weaver? Jack asked, his tail wagging with curiosity. A mysterious entity that seeks to control the North Pole, Jerry explained. Well, we can't let that happen, Sam said, his voice filled with determination. Come on, Jack called out, we've got a starlight sparkle to catch. The three adventurers took to the sky, their quest to save Christmas renewed. As the trio pursued the elusive starlight sparkle, their festive adventure transformed into a mission of vital importance. The Frost Weaver, a mysterious and sinister force, sought to claim the North Pole for its own nefarious purposes. The starlight sparkle, the source of Santa's power, was the key to the Frost Weaver's plan, and without it, the fate of Christmas Land was in jeopardy. With determination and courage, Jack, Sam, and Jerry raced against time to prevent the darkness from engulfing the land. The three heroes, guided by their determination and loyalty, pursued the starlight sparkle with all their might. They soared through the skies, their wings carrying them closer and closer to their destination. The landscape below changed as they continued their journey, the winter wonderland giving way to an icy wasteland. The air grew colder, the winds picking up as they pressed on. Finally, they reached their destination, the icy fortress of the Frost Weaver looming before them. The imposing structure rose from the tundra, its walls glimmering with frost and icicles. We made it, Sam announced, his voice filled with excitement. Yes, Jack responded, his voice filled with awe. Now, let's get that starlight sparkle, Jerry urged, his voice filled with determination. With a resolute nod, the three adventurers prepared to face the unknown. They landed near the base of the icy fortress, the wind whistling through the frozen landscape. Here we are, Jerry said, his voice filled with resolve. Ho, oh, the starlight sparkle must be in there, Sam said, his voice filled with anticipation. Come on, Jack said, his voice filled with determination. As they approached the entrance, a sudden blast of ice shot out from the fortress, knocking them off their feet. What was that? Jack asked, his tail wagging with confusion. Ho, oh, the Frost Weaver, Sam answered, his voice filled with surprise. It knows we're here, Jerry said, his voice filled with determination. Come on, we have to get that starlight sparkle, Jack said, his voice filled with conviction. They picked themselves up and headed towards the entrance, ready to face the mysterious entity that lurked within. As they approached the fortress, the cold wind whipped around them, making it hard to see. Ho, oh, keep going, Sam encouraged, his voice filled with determination. I'm with you, Jack replied, his voice filled with confidence. Me too, Jerry said, his voice filled with conviction. Together, they continued their journey, the icy fortress growing closer and closer. Ho, oh, this is it, Sam said, his voice filled with anticipation. Are you ready? Jack asked, his voice filled with determination. Yes, Jerry replied, his voice filled with conviction. Let's do this, Sam said, his voice filled with excitement. They approached the entrance, the cold wind buffeting them as they went. Ho, oh, there's the door, Sam pointed out, his voice filled with anticipation. Here goes nothing, Jack said, his voice filled with resolve. He raised his paw and knocked on the icy door, the sound echoing through the frozen wasteland. A moment later, the door creaked open, revealing a dark, cavernous interior. Ho, oh, I guess we go inside, Sam said, his voice filled with curiosity. Yeah, Jerry agreed, his voice filled with anticipation. Together, they stepped into the fortress, their path illuminated by the glow of the starlight sparkle. With their mission now clear, the trio, determined and loyal, ventured into the unknown, their hope fueled by the spirit of Christmas. Chapter 3 Heroes Last Stand The Valor of Burgi the Abominable Snowplow as they made their way into the icy fortress, the trio was struck by the contrast between the blinding brightness of the snowy landscape outside and the gloomy darkness within. Ho, be careful, Sam cautioned, his fiery breath lighting the way. 
We need to find the starlight sparkle and get out of here, Jerry urged, his voice filled with concern. Look, Jack called out, his canine senses alerting him to a faint glow in the distance. The starlight sparkle. With a newfound sense of urgency, the three companions raced towards the flickering light, their hearts filled with hope and determination. As they neared the source of the light, a menacing presence loomed before them. The Frost Weaver, a terrifying amalgamation of ice and snow, barred their path, its icy claws poised to strike. You have come for the starlight sparkle. Its voice was cold and hollow, sending a chill down their spines. We're here to save Christmas, Jack responded, his voice filled with courage. Ho, oh, you're too late, the frost weaver sneered, its icy claws flexing. You can't have the starlight sparkle. Jerry insisted, his voice filled with determination. Prepare to meet your doom, the frost weaver growled, its icy claws glowing with ominous power. Jack, Sam, and Jerry exchanged worried glances, the gravity of their situation sinking in. Ho, oh, we have no choice, Jack declared, his voice filled with bravery. We have to stop the Frost Weaver, Sam added, his dragon voice booming with determination. We can't let Christmas be ruined, Jerry said, his voice filled with conviction. Their fates were decided, and the three companions prepared to face the icy villain in a climactic battle for the fate of Christmas land. As the battle unfolded, the intensity and danger of the situation were made clear. The Frost Weaver, an embodiment of the cold and darkness, unleashed its fury upon the heroic trio, its icy claws slashing and its breath freezing everything in its path. Jack, Sam, and Jerry, fueled by their devotion and loyalty, fought back with all their might, their weapons and magic deflecting the villains' attacks and dealing blows of their own. The epic battle raged on, the stakes higher than ever. The outcome was uncertain, but one thing was certain, their resolve would not waver. They would fight until the end, for the sake of Christmas. You won't have the starlight sparkle, Jerry called out, his voice filled with determination. And neither will you, the frost weaver growled, its icy claws gleaming with menace. Jack, Sam, and Jerry stood their ground, their hearts filled with bravery and courage. On three, Jack called out, his canine senses tuned to the rhythm of battle. Ho, on three, Sam agreed, his fiery breath at the ready. Suddenly, amidst the chaos, a thunderous roar shakes the fortress. You shall not harm my friends, bellows a familiar voice, powerful and deep. Emerging from the sugar-dusted underbrush is Burgie, the abominable snowplow. Santa, atop his sleigh, recognizes his old friend. Great glue gone a gumdrop. Burgie, my old friend, he exclaims, his eyes twinkling with joy and relief. Burgie charges at Frost Weaver. Their battle is a spectacle of might and ferocity, a whirlwind of snow and candy as the two titans clash amidst the festive fortress. Despite the danger, Burgie fights valiantly, his mighty hands tearing at the automaton. Sam, with wings unfurled, is ready to leap into the fray. We can't let Burgie fight alone, he declares, his dragon heart ablaze with a fire to protect. But Santa, wise from countless winters, intervenes. Wait, Sam. I have another plan, he says, pulling out the jingle jangle orb from his satchel. Santa tosses the orb into the battle. A dazzling burst of light erupts, and suddenly, a dozen Burgie clones appear, each roaring fiercely. The Frost Weaver, confused by the sudden multiplication, hesitates. In that critical moment, the real Burgie delivers a crushing blow. The Frost Weaver's head flies off, rolling down a nearby peppermint canyon and vanishing in powdered snow. As the clones fade, Santa and the others rush to Burgie, their hearts filled with gratitude. But their joy is short-lived. Burgie sways and collapses into the snow, his fur stained with crimson. In his final moments, Burgie's eyes meet Santa's, conveying a silent farewell. With a final breath, the brave heart of the abominable snowplow is stilled. The heroes gather around their fallen friend, hearts heavy with loss. He sacrificed himself for us, for the North Pole, someone murmurs, voice choked with emotion. As they bid farewell to Burgie, they know the battle is not over. The sinister force behind the automaton and Ezekiel's role in these events remain mysteries. 
Determined to honor Burgi's sacrifice, they prepare to face whatever challenges lie ahead, their spirits unbroken, their resolve unyielding. The battle against the Frost Weaver is won, but the true fight for Christmas has only just begun. With the battle won, the three companions gathered around their fallen comrade, their hearts heavy with sorrow and gratitude. Ho, oh, what a sacrifice, Sam murmured, his voice filled with awe and sadness. Yes, a truly heroic act, Jerry agreed, his voice filled with respect and sorrow. Jack's ears drooped, his tail wagging with melancholy. Burgie's sacrifice won't be forgotten. The three friends stood in silence, honoring their fallen comrade, the first casualty of the battle for Christmas. The hero's last stand against the Frost Weaver was a turning point in the battle, and their courage and determination played a crucial role in securing the victory. However, the true test of their mettle lay ahead as they continued their journey, ready to face whatever challenges awaited them in the name of justice, loyalty, and the spirit of Christmas. Burgie's death marked a turning point in the battle for the fate of Christmas. As the hero's last stand echoed through the tundra, a new sense of purpose and determination emerged. No longer would the heroes hesitate in the face of adversity, their resolve would not falter. They would continue their quest, not only to restore the magic of Christmas, but to honor the memory of their fallen comrade. Jack, Sam, and Jerry set out on their next adventure, their spirits renewed by the sacrifice of their friend, and their hearts filled with the hope that one day, they would see him again. Burgie was a true hero, Jack declared, his canine heart brimming with emotion. His sacrifice will not be forgotten, Jerry affirmed, his voice filled with reverence. Let's keep moving, Sam urged, his dragon wings carrying him gracefully into the sky. Yes, there's still much to be done, Jack agreed, his tail wagging with determination. Together, the three friends embarked on their next adventure, their resolve bolstered by the memory of their fallen comrade and the knowledge that his sacrifice would not be in vain. While all of this was happening, Ezekiel Gingersnap took the starlight sparkle using the Yule Yanker once more and hid it away in the deepest depths of his lair. He grinned, his gumdrops gleaming with malice. Those fools have no idea what's waiting for them. Once I have complete control over the North Pole, no one will be able to stop me. His plan was simple. He would use the Starlight Sparkle to freeze the entire North Pole, taking complete control over the magic and power that sustained Christmas. However, his ambition would soon prove to be his downfall. For, even as he reveled in his victory, his enemies were plotting their revenge, and the fight for the North Pole was just beginning. Ho, oh, those fools will never find the starlight sparkle here, Ezekiel gloated, his voice filled with malice. Suddenly, an explosion shipped the lair, sending debris flying everywhere. What was that? Ezekiel exclaimed, his voice filled with panic. Another blast rocked the lair, sending the gingerbread man into a frenzy. My lair. Ezekiel screamed, his voice filled with terror. The explosions continued, and Ezekiel knew he was in danger. I have to get out of here. Ezekiel grabbed the starlight sparkle and hurried to the exit. As he reached the entrance, a powerful gust of wind blasted the door shut, trapping him inside. No, no, no. Ezekiel wailed, his voice filled with despair. The explosions continued, and the gingerbread man knew his fate was sealed. I should have known that fool Santa Claus would never let me get away with my plan, Ezekiel muttered, his voice filled with resignation. As the lair collapsed around him, the gingerbread man felt a strange sense of peace wash over him. I guess this is the end, he whispered, his voice filled with sorrow. With his final breath, Ezekiel Gingersnap's body turned to dust, the starlight sparkles power shattering him from the inside out. And so, the fate of the North Pole was decided, and the true meaning of Christmas was restored. Santa, the head elf, and the three heroes returned home to Christmas land victorious, their spirits buoyed by the knowledge that they had saved the North Pole and the magic of Christmas. Jack's tail wagged happily as he walked through the village square, his canine nose taking in the delightful scents of gingerbread and peppermint. The cheerful sounds of carolers filled the air, and the jovial atmosphere was a welcome change from the gloom and desperation they had encountered during their adventures. Ho, oh, we did it! 
Sam cheered, his dragon wings flapping excitedly. Indeed, we have, Jerry said, his voice filled with satisfaction. All thanks to the courage and determination of the four of us, Jack said, his canine heart brimming with pride. It's been quite a journey, Sam agreed, his deep voice resonating with emotion. Ho, oh, and it's not over yet, Jerry reminded them, his monocle gleaming with determination. Right, the starlight sparkle is still missing, Jack said, his tail wagging thoughtfully. And without it, Christmas won't be the same, Sam added, his fiery breath puffing a plume of smoke into the frigid air. That's right, and it's up to us to find it, Jerry said, his voice filled with certainty. We'll get to the bottom of this, I'm sure, Jack said, his canine confidence radiating through the group. Ho, oh, come on, let's get started, Sam declared, his dragon wings carrying him effortlessly into the sky. Yes, there's no time to lose, Jerry agreed, his paws carrying him with surprising speed across the snowy terrain. Ho, oh, wait for me. Jack called out, his furry legs sprinting after his companions. With their spirits high and their determination unwavering, the three heroes set off on their next adventure, the fate of Christmas land resting in their capable paws and claws. Chapter 4, The Quest for the Starlight Sparkle Unveiling the Frosty Foe the search for the missing starlight sparkle began with a bang. Ho, oh, I can't believe this, Sam muttered, his dragon voice filled with frustration. The clues just keep leading us in circles, Jerry agreed, his monocle glinting with annoyance. Come on, we have to keep trying, Jack encouraged, his canine nose picking up the faintest trace of gingerbread. Ho, oh, let's go, Sam urged, his wings carrying him effortlessly through the crisp winter air. Yes, we can't give up now, Jerry declared, his paws carrying him with surprising speed across the snowy terrain. Jack's tail wagged as he followed his companions, his canine instincts sharpened by the thrill of the hunt. Ho, oh, I smell gingerbread, Jack announced, his tail wagging furiously. Great job, Jack, Jerry praised, his voice filled with approval. That's got to be a clue, Sam agreed, his dragon eyes spotting a distant shape on the horizon. Come on, let's go. Jack called out, his canine legs sprinting after his companions. The three companions raced towards the source of the gingerbread scent, their hearts filled with hope and determination. As they neared the mysterious structure, a menacing presence loomed before them. Ho, the frost weaver, Sam whispered, his dragon voice quivering with fear. No, that's not the Frost Weaver, Jerry corrected, his voice filled with certainty. Then what is it? Jack asked, his canine ears perked up. It's the Frost Weaver's lair, Jerry revealed, his monocle gleaming with knowledge. Ho, oh, so that means. Sam trailed off, his dragon voice trembling with anticipation. The starlight sparkle is in there, Jerry declared, his voice filled with conviction. Without hesitation, the three companions ventured into the Frostweaver's lair, their courage and determination fueling their quest to save Christmas. Their mission was fraught with danger and uncertainty, but they refused to let fear stop them. They had to find the starlight sparkle, or all would be lost. As they navigated the icy labyrinth, their hearts filled with determination and loyalty, Jack, Sam, and Jerry discovered the truth about the mysterious entity that had threatened Christmas land. It's an automaton, Sam breathed, his voice filled with awe and disbelief. An automaton? Jack asked, his canine ears perking up. Indeed, Jerry replied, his monocle gleaming with knowledge. Who controls it? Jack asked, his voice filled with curiosity. We have a hunch, Jerry answered, his voice filled with certainty. It's gotta be that gingerbread guy, Ezekiel, Sam declared, his dragon voice filled with conviction. That's our best lead, Jack agreed, his canine senses tingling. Let's go, Jerry urged, his paws carrying him with surprising speed across the snowy terrain. Yes, there's no time to lose, Sam agreed, his wings carrying him effortlessly through the frigid air. Ho, oh, come on, let's go, Jack called out his canine legs sprinting after his companions. As they pursued the elusive Ezekiel, their festive adventure transformed into a perilous chase, the fate of Christmas land hanging in the balance. 
Jack, Sam, and Jerry arrived at the Frostweaver's lair. A dark, foreboding structure loomed before them, the icy walls glimmering with menace. Ho, oh, this must be the place, Sam said, his voice filled with determination. Indeed, Jerry agreed, his voice filled with caution. Are you ready? Jack asked, his tail wagging nervously. Yes, Jerry replied, his voice filled with confidence. Let's go, Sam urged, his dragon wings flapping excitedly. Together, they ventured into the lair, their courage and loyalty guiding their way. As they explored the mysterious structure, they discovered the truth about the entity behind the threat to Christmas. It's an automaton, Sam breathed, his voice filled with awe and disbelief. Indeed, Jerry agreed, his monocle gleaming with knowledge. Ho, oh, then, who created it? Jack asked, his canine curiosity piqued. That's a good question, Jerry mused, his voice filled with intrigue. There's only one person who could have made something like this, Sam deduced, his dragon eyes gleaming with realization. Who? Jack pressed, his canine curiosity growing by the second. Ezekiel Gingersnap, Jerry answered, his voice filled with certainty. I knew it, Sam exclaimed, his dragon voice booming with excitement. That explains a lot, Jack said, his canine senses tingling with realization. Indeed, his motives are becoming clearer, Jerry agreed, his monocle gleaming with intrigue. Well, we need to stop him, Sam declared, his dragon voice filled with determination. And we will, Jerry assured, his voice filled with confidence. Ho, oh, come on, let's go. Jack called out, his canine legs sprinting after his companions. As the three companions ventured deeper into the lair, the stakes of their mission became clear. The fate of Christmas land and the North Pole itself depended on their success. Jack's canine instincts were on high alert, his senses tuned to the slightest hint of danger. Be careful, everyone, Jerry cautioned, his voice filled with caution. Yes, this place is a death trap, Sam agreed, his dragon voice trembling with fear. We'll be okay, Jack reassured, his canine confidence bolstering their resolve. As they continued their search for the starlight sparkle, their festive adventures transformed into a race against time, their heroic actions the key to saving Christmas. The trio made their way through the icy maze, their determination and loyalty fueling their quest. They came to a vast chamber, the icy walls towering above them. Ho, oh, there's a passageway, Sam called out, his dragon eyes spotting the hidden entrance. Excellent work, Sam, Jerry praised, his monocle gleaming with admiration. Come on, let's go, Jack urged, his canine instincts tingling with anticipation. The trio ventured into the passageway, their hearts filled with hope and anticipation. They came to a dark, foreboding room, the icy walls glimmering with menace. Suddenly, the chamber came to life, a fierce wind howling through the cavernous space. Ho, oh, watch out, Sam warned, his dragon wings flapping furiously. We have to stay together, Jerry instructed, his voice filled with determination. Huddle up, everyone, Jack commanded, his canine instincts sharpened by the threat of danger. The three companions huddled together, their courage and loyalty sustaining them. The storm intensified, the icy wind threatening to tear them apart. We can't give up, Jack insisted, his canine voice ringing with determination. Yes, we have to keep going, Jerry agreed, his paws clinging to the icy floor. Ho, oh, there's another passageway, Sam called out, his dragon eyes spotting the secret exit. Great job, Sam, Jerry praised, his monocle gleaming with pride. Come on, let's go, Jack urged, his canine legs carrying him towards the passageway. The three companions made their way through the storm, their heroic actions the key to survival. They emerged from the passageway, their hearts filled with hope and relief. Ho, oh, we made it, Sam exclaimed, his dragon voice booming with excitement. Indeed, and not a moment too soon, Jerry agreed, his monocle gleaming with appreciation. Ho, oh, come on, let's keep going, Jack urged, his canine legs sprinting towards the next challenge. The trio ventured deeper into the lair, their journey taking them closer to the truth about the entity behind the threat to Christmas. Finally, 
they came to the heart of the lair, a vast, icy chamber filled with a mysterious power. Ho! Oh, it's the starlight sparkle, Sam marveled, his dragon eyes taking in the brilliant glow. Indeed, Jerry agreed, his monocle gleaming with admiration. And it's being guarded by an automaton, Jack observed, his canine instincts on high alert. The trio approached the automaton, their courage and loyalty guiding their steps. We need a plan, Jerry said, his voice filled with caution. Let's distract it, Sam suggested, his dragon wings flapping with anticipation. Yes, and I have just the thing, Jerry revealed, his monocle gleaming with cunning. Jack nodded and stepped forward, his canine confidence radiating through the group. The automaton turned its attention to the trio, its icy claws poised to strike. Be careful, everyone, Jerry warned, his voice filled with worry. We can do this, Sam said, his dragon voice ringing with conviction. The trio split up, each taking a different approach. Jerry lured the automaton into a corner, his agile paws dancing across the icy floor. Jack circled around, his canine instincts sharpened by the threat of danger. Sam charged in, his mighty wings propelling him toward the automaton. Now, Jerry commanded, his voice filled with urgency. At Jerry's signal, the three companions struck, their heroic actions the key to victory. The automaton was no match for their combined might and soon fell to pieces. Ho, oh, we did it, Sam exclaimed, his dragon voice booming with excitement. Indeed, and not a moment too soon, Jerry agreed, his monocle gleaming with pride. Come on, let's get the starlight sparkle and go home, Jack urged, his canine heart brimming with excitement. The trio gathered around the starlight sparkle, their festive adventure transformed into a victorious journey. The starlight sparkle pulsed with power, the mysterious energy fueling their journey home. As the three companions set off for Christmas land, their hearts filled with triumph and hope, the truth about the threat to Christmas was finally revealed. Ezekiel Gingersnap's sinister plot to steal the North Pole's magic and control Christmas land had been foiled by the bravery and loyalty of the three companions. With the starlight sparkle secured and the automaton destroyed, Christmas land was safe once more, and the true meaning of the holiday was restored. Jack's canine intuition had proven to be a valuable asset, his heroic actions guiding the trio to victory. Sam's dragon might and Jerry's cunning had played a crucial role in the quest, their loyalty and courage serving as an inspiration to all. And, with the starlight sparkled back where it belonged, Christmas land was ready to celebrate the most wonderful time of the year. Ho, Merry Christmas, Sam declared, his deep dragon voice booming with joy. Indeed, and a very happy new year, Jerry added, his monocle gleaming with festive cheer. Ho, we did it, Jack exclaimed, his canine tail wagging furiously. With the threat to Christmas land eliminated and the true meaning of the holiday restored, the three companions returned home victorious, their spirits buoyed by the success of their daring adventure. Jack, Sam, and Jerry had saved the North Pole and Christmas land from destruction, and their heroic actions had served as a reminder that the spirit of the season is never far away. Jack, Sam, and Jerry set out on a quest to find the starlight sparkle, and along the way, they uncover the secret behind the threat to Christmas. Ezekiel Gingersnap had devised a plot to steal the North Pole's magic and control the Christmas season. But Jack, Sam, and Jerry's bravery and loyalty had prevailed, and the true meaning of the holiday was restored. Ezekiel's sinister plot had been foiled, and the North Pole was safe once more. Jack's canine intuition had been the key to their victory, his heroic actions inspiring the trio to greatness. Sam's dragon might and Jerry's cunning had proved invaluable, their loyalty and courage a testament to the spirit of the season. And with the starlight sparkle safe and the true meaning of Christmas restored, the three companions returned home victorious, their spirits lifted by the spirit of the season. Christmas was saved, and the North Pole was safe once more. Chapter 5 The End of the Year A Heartwarming Farewell Christmas was saved, and the starlight sparkle restored, but the story of the three companions and their quest was not over. Jack, Sam, and Jerry continued their festive adventure, their loyal hearts guiding their journey. 
Their heroic actions had served as a beacon of hope and inspiration, and their loyalty had proved a powerful force for good. As the trio ventured through the snowy landscape, their festive spirits were lifted by the sights and sounds of the season. Christmas land was filled with joy and laughter, the citizens celebrating the return of the starlight sparkle and the triumph of the three heroes. Jack's tail wagged happily as he walked through the village square, his canine nose taking in the delightful scents of gingerbread and peppermint. The cheerful sounds of carolers filled the air, and the jovial atmosphere was a welcome change from the gloom and despair they had encountered during their adventures. Ho, oh, it's a magical time of year, Sam exclaimed, his dragon voice booming with excitement. Indeed, and a time to reflect on the bonds of friendship and loyalty, Jerry agreed, his voice filled with admiration. It's good to be back home, Jack said, his canine voice brimming with contentment. Ho, oh, there's nowhere else I'd rather be, Sam said, his deep voice resonating with emotion. Indeed, and we have a lot to be thankful for, Jerry said, his monocle gleaming with gratitude. The three friends continued their festive journey, their hearts filled with joy and hope. As they neared the village center, the source of their journey was revealed. A dazzling spectacle of light and color greeted them, the sight lifting their spirits even higher. Ho, oh, it's the light parade! Sam exclaimed, his dragon voice echoing with excitement. Yes, and what a beautiful sight it is, Jerry agreed, his monocle gleaming with awe and delight. This is amazing, Jack said, his canine voice filled with wonder. The trio marveled at the parade, their festive spirits lifted even higher by the spectacular display. As they watched the festive procession, their loyal hearts were reminded of the true meaning of the season. Ho, oh, friendship and loyalty are the greatest gifts of all, Sam declared, his deep dragon voice booming with conviction. Indeed, and they are gifts that can be given and received every day, Jerry agreed, his voice filled with admiration. And those are the most magical gifts of all, Jack said, his canine heart filled with love and gratitude. The three friends continued their festive journey, their loyal spirits guiding their steps. The light parade ended, and the three companions made their way back home, their festive spirits buoyed by the knowledge that friendship and loyalty were the true sources of magic and wonder. As they settled into the comfort and warmth of the cozy cottage, their journey concluded, but their friendship and loyalty forged a connection that would last a lifetime. Ho, oh, it's been quite an adventure, Sam mused, his deep dragon voice echoing with emotion. Indeed, and one that will live on in our hearts forever, Jerry agreed, his monocle gleaming with admiration. This was a once-in-a-lifetime experience, Jack said, his canine voice filled with gratitude and awe. Ho, oh, but that's how all the best stories end, Sam said, his dragon voice booming with certainty. Indeed, with a bittersweet farewell and the promise of new beginnings, Jerry added, his voice filled with wisdom and nostalgia. Ho, oh, this isn't goodbye, Jack declared, his canine heart filled with loyalty and determination. Indeed, this is only the beginning, Sam agreed, his deep voice resonating with hope. Indeed, and a new year is on the horizon, filled with possibilities and adventure, Jerry said, his monocle gleaming with anticipation. The three friends embraced, their loyal hearts promising to remain connected no matter the distance between them. As the clock struck midnight, a new year was ushered in, and the promise of fresh beginnings was made. Christmas was saved, and the true meaning of the holiday was restored, but the story of the three companions and their festive journey was not over. The friendship and loyalty they had forged during their adventure was a gift that would last a lifetime, and the promise of new beginnings was a reminder that the spirit of the season was never far away. Jack, Sam, and Jerry concluded their festive journey, their loyal hearts guiding their journey. Their heroic actions had served as a beacon of hope and inspiration, and their loyalty had proved a powerful force for good. Epilogue, The Forgotten Festive Adventure as the celebrations in Christmas land reached their crescendo, with elves and reindeer alike sharing in the joy of their saved Christmas, Jack, Sam, and Jerry found themselves called once more to Santa's grand workshop. The workshop, with its walls adorned with twinkling lights and garlands, felt even more magical after their triumphant return. Santa greeted them with a warm, yet somber smile. 
My brave heroes, you've done more than just save Christmas, you've preserved the joy and wonder of this special time for everyone. However, the magic of Christmas Land must remain a secret, safeguarded from the outside world. Jack tilted his head, a sense of unease growing. What do you mean, Santa? Santa sighed, his eyes reflecting the weight of his next words. The magic of Christmas Land, including your recent adventure, is not meant to be remembered in the outside world. It's essential to keep the balance and mystery of this enchanted place. Sam's eyes widened his draconic features displaying his surprise. You mean we won't remember any of this? Jerry nodded solemnly. It's the price we pay for partaking in the magic of Christmas land. Our memories of this adventure will fade, leaving only a lingering sense of joy and a subconscious belief in the magic of Christmas. Santa approached them, holding a small, ornate hourglass filled with shimmering golden sand. This is the sand of forgotten winters. Once I turn this hourglass, your memories of Christmas land will gently fade away, like snowflakes melting in the sun. Jack and Sam exchanged glances, a sense of sadness mingled with understanding passing between them. They had formed a bond, not only with each other, but with the magical realm they had saved. With a heavy heart, Santa turned the hourglass. The golden sand began to flow, and a soft, ethereal light enveloped Jack, Sam, and Jerry. The light grew brighter, and as it did, their memories of Christmas land, the chase for the starlight sparkle, the battle with the Yule Wraith, and the festive cheer of the enchanted realm began to fade like a dream upon waking. As the last grain of sand fell, the light dimmed, and they found themselves standing in the familiar surroundings of Potera with no recollection of their Christmas adventure. Yet, in their hearts, there remained an inexplicable warmth and a renewed belief in the magic and wonder of the holiday season. And so, Jack and Sam continued their lives in Potera, unaware of the incredible adventure they had embarked upon in Christmas Land. Their spirits were lifted, filled with unexplained joy and a newfound appreciation for the magic that exists in the unseen corners of the world. As for Jerry, he smiled to himself, a knowing twinkle in his eye. He alone remembered their festive journey, a secret he would carry in his heart, a silent guardian of the magical memories they had made together. Their adventure in Christmas Land became a forgotten chapter in their lives, but the spirit of Christmas, the joy of friendship, and the magic of the holiday season would remain with them always, guiding them through their journeys yet to come. My beloved pack, as we tuck today's episode into its bed of memories, let's wag our tails in excitement for what's coming up on the Howl Hub podcast. Next time, we'll be sharing our den with the master storyteller themselves, Justin Simon the brilliant mind behind Dragon Sparks and Yule Time Barks. You've journeyed through the mystical landscape of Patera, felt the crisp air of Christmas land, and stood paw to paw with Jack and Sam on their adventures. Now, let's dig up the bones of the story, uncovering secrets and sniffing out the inspiration behind this magical world. Join me, Huggable Howler, for a barkingly candid conversation with Justin Simon. We'll explore the nooks and crannies of their imagination, how a whisper in the winter wind turns into a saga that warms the heart, and maybe, just maybe, we'll howl in harmony to the tune of untold tales. So, keep your snouts to the ground and follow the scent to our next episode. Don't miss the chance to be part of the pack that gets the inside scoop straight from the author's mouth. Until then, keep your paws padded and your ears perked. There's a story waiting for you right here on Howl Hub. Stay howl some, my friends, and remember, every story has its teller, and we're about to meet one of the best. Tail wags until next time.